Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, to the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Yes, I'm recording a video late in the evening in Mexico, so you will have it in the morning in Europe. Guys, let's quickly jump into the charts because you want to know what is happening to Bitcoin and I'm going to show you exactly what I think that is happening over there. Here, this is the first chart, guys. Um, is my face in the right place? Ah, it could be a little bit better. More, a little bit more there. Perfect. Now, we have a four hour chart. On the four hour chart, you can see, of course, that the bam bam, of course, I'm saying, did perfect again. I'm almost ashamed to say it was perfect again. We have the long, we have the short, and now we are creating a long again. The long is a candle closing above the yellow stepping line, and we do have some green showing up already. We do have the BAM crossing, so it all depends now on um, do we want to take it because the green line is not on top, but the green dot is there. So normally I would have taken that trade. And why would I have taken the trade? Because if you look at the chart as well, then you see, for example, that a W is being created. Um, and I'm saying being created because on the one hour it already shows a W, um, but on the four hour, um let's see it is here just check this and to create the w we need to end over there and that would be at the 59,876 um, level average breakout would be something like that 64,000 us dollar and how do we calculate that and that was calculated by um, taking the neckline total bottom of the w and then you put that on top of uh, the neckline. So that was a guess, but it was a great guess. But for this to happen, we need to have these candles first going to 60K. Then we have a beautiful W pattern, and then we can break out to the top. Beautiful, isn't it? Now let's quickly jump in the next chart. This is all speculation, guys, because this is not yet there on the charts. Please be aware. I'm making this video in the evening. I'm like hoping and expecting it will go to there so we have the W. Okay, next chart. Bam, day channel. And on this day channel, there is some really cool stuff that we can see. Also on this day channel, um, we, we had that W pattern over here, check. We had a kind of a W pattern as well here in this area. And then we broke out, bam, all the way to there. Now, are we doing the same? Are we on the day chart again creating this W pattern? And are we going to have this huge run again up to there? That is the question. That is what we are all expecting. That is also, um, if you could get the plan B, what more can we see on this beautiful chart is that um, if you look at those two patterns in combination with the RSI, then we can see that there was a downward trend over here. Now, here as well, we have this downward trend. But that was, of course, divergence because we had in the RSI an upward trend. And that upward trend that we are seeing here again a little bit. So we have a downward W, upward ISI, downward W, upward RSI. Are we going to have that explosive move in RSI to the top again? Just like we had here again. And we can see here this huge run. Are we going to have that huge run now over here as well? we're going to go up to that level and that would mean that the price will also go up to a much higher level around the 72k uh, creating a new toma new all-time high in the month of november that is what we are all hoping but i need to be very clear to you guys we can also of course do exactly the opposite we can also break down um, to lower support levels even um, around 50k 53k all of these are support levels that we could fall down to. So it's a very exciting time. Does the will that I've been following think that we are going up? Yes, I think he does. Because look, if we look at his buying um, pattern, he bought 1,000 Bitcoins on the 19th of November. He bought another 850 Bitcoins on the 22nd of November. He bought 616 Bitcoins on the 23rd of November. So he keeps buying. He's not selling. The moment he sells, mostly the price dumps. The only he buys, mostly we see a run. Do we have two more charts? Yes, Didi, we have two more charts. Quickly jump into these charts and then 
Um, bam, there we have them. Oh God, it's late. It's, uh, maybe I shouldn't do the videos in the evening. Um, look, this is a very important chart. On this chart, we can see the buying volume and we see the heat map. And here these blue circles means that the long-term investors are buying. Red circles means they're selling. But now we have blue circles, which means that they are buying and that's accumulating for the long-term holders, which is beautiful to see downwards here on the chart as well. The line is going up, very positive. Something more, bam, over here, we have the Bitcoin chart after the third halving. That is the last chart of today, just to tell you and to show you what I'm expecting again. Um, on this chart, you can see that the blue line in the middle, this one, is the average growth. The range is defined by the trajectories after the first top and second bottom half. There was the first top, the highest one ever, and this the second one over here. Now, so we have an average line that is the blue line. The orange line is the current line. That is way down below the average line. It's even down below the lowest bull uh, cycle. It is now 557 days after the halving, and Bitcoin is at 58,000. So we still need to have that run to a like a higher level around 100k to be in this area of the average runs that we saw in the previous bull runs so for me i don't think we are there yet i really believe guys and i really believe it should be somewhere in this year so it should end somewhere there and then we come down again bear traps something like that so that is what i expect but who am i just a guy um, analyzing some charts, bam, and I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just Diddy. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this short TA video. It was short, no, it's eight minutes. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, let me know, do you like these evening videos so that you can watch them in the morning in Europe? Or do you say, ah, Diddy, man, in the evening you're making too many mistakes. Please keep it to the mornings in Mexico. That's good enough as well. Let me know down below in the comments and see you later today or tomorrow again. Bam.